if you had to pick between a physical product or a digital product mm -hmm. or providing a service, mm -hmm. which one would you pick? So it's providing a service, mm -hmm. selling a digital product, mm -hmm. or a physical product. Mm -hmm. Which one would you pick and why? Man, let's not pick all three. Because <laughs> I like stush money. Have you ever felt like you are so close, but yet at the same time, everything you do is not working? It's like you've been doing this thing for the last five years, whether it's working out, whether it's running a business, whether it's looking for the perfect relationship. You're like so close, but at the same time, you feel so far away. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about what it takes to have that breakthrough that you've been looking for, right? Whether it's a breakthrough in business, whether it's a breakthrough in finance, whether it's a breakthrough in love, relationship, <laughs> marriage. You sure we don't cover all that topic? Because we could be talking for days. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could talk for days, but we're going we're gonna to go for a while and um, just talk about what it takes to have that breakthrough, um, that small thing that leads to that big thing. And I'm really excited about that. Yeah, me too. And this is our, this is going to be an interesting episode because we're home and the kids are up, the girls are up and they are upstairs. So I told Aaliyah, I said, hey, if you stay upstairs and you stay quiet and you uh, be good, I'll give you a surprise. Mm -hmm. So if you hear some kids upstairs, that's Aaliyah and that's Grace upstairs. Yeah. All right. So you want to, you want to start it off? What something would you say that, you know, in your life, in your personal experience that led to you having, you know, a, a, a unexpected breakthrough in the area that you've been, you know, going back and forth with? What's one example that you have? I think that an unexpected breakthrough, mm -hmm. it's so, I guess when you word it like that, I've, I've worked or decided to do things to lead to something. So mm -hmm. it was never unexpected. Mm-hmm. Um, so I went to nursing school so I could graduate and be a nurse. Mm -hmm. So graduating was not unexpected. It was expected. That was the mm -hmm. goal. Um, I, we just recently hit, helped a few of our clients generate, you know, their highest income day and month. You know, we've been studying those things mm -hmm. for well, some time now, mm -hmm. but almost over eight years. So I don't think that those results were unexpected it was just more like when they came we was just like oh my god it's here <laughs> it did finally you, happened did you expect that to happen or like you know from a client's perspective i know our client did not expect that right right because when she did one of her biggest days i think she made twenty thousand in two hours right um she texted you and she said hey i just made 20k this, yeah. this has never happened to me before right so would you say that's a breakthrough for her of course, you know, especially if she said it's a breakthrough for her, you know, um, I'm not in her pockets, but I know that for her was it her first time. So that was, that that was the first time in her doing her business, taking her idea, bringing it to life and making money from it. So, you know, it was life changing. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I remember back in 2020, we had a breakthrough. Um, we had a breakthrough because it was the top of the pandemic mm -hmm. and we moved from New York to Georgia Okay, and we didn't have much. <laughs> we didn't have much. We didn't have. Yeah, much, we didn't yes. have much. I think we had a whole bunch of books. I think we had most of these books that you see back here on the shelf. Right. Probably, you know, some pots and pans mm -hmm. and a couple of packs of seasoning so we could season <laughs> food for the first couple of days. And right. the, the newest clothes we had because we gave away all the clothes we didn't feel was travel worthy. Right. And we moved to Georgia. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, that was a breakthrough. That was a breakthrough mm -hmm. because, you know, you pack up with your family and you move to a state that mm -hmm. you've never been. Right. And here we are four years later. Right. Thriving. Yeah. 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 Well, I have a question for you. You know, how did it feel to have, you know, learned everything that you learned? Mm -hmm. For somebody to actually use all the information that you gave them and then for them to reap that result. How did that do, do it for you? I would say that was a breakthrough for me, too, because for a long, long time, I was there sharing with people what to do. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm always that person who's always willingly sharing information. 
And I felt like the people I was sharing the information with, they weren't they weren't giving me a testimony out of it, mm-hmm. right? Not that I was sharing it for them to give me a testimonial, but I didn't really see them using it to the way I was sharing it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, to have somebody pay you and then use it, it made me realize that, you know, that's saying, that's saying in some way, I'm not going to say it's 100% true, mm-hmm. like 99.99% like true, mm-hmm. that when you pay, you pay attention. Facts. And especially when you pay a lot. Right, <laughs> When yeah. you pay a lot, you pay more attention. Right. Right. So when you pay, you pay attention. When you pay more, you pay more attention. All right. And, you know, she paid attention. Right. Yeah. So if we said do this, she did it. If mm-hmm. we said, hey, go send me this video, she did it. If I said, hey, go on Instagram and mm-hmm. talk about X, Y, Z, she went on Instagram and talked about X, Y, Z. Right. And of course, you know, we matched that energy too, where we gave her whatever tool she needed, right. you know, immediately. So, mm-hmm. you know, for me, it was an eye opener. Mm hmm. Um, and it was a uh, more of, hey, you know your stuff. Yeah. Like we've been helping people make money for a long time Probably. from network marketing, yeah. which we've been in network marketing since 2015. Right. So whether it was selling shakes, mm-hmm. whether it was people making money off of a $180 offer. Right. Um, and people taking home $90 mm-hmm. and then coming into the life insurance, you know, getting people paid. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember bringing my auntie like $500 checks. Right. You know, and she hasn't been to the office for like mm. months. Talk about passive Talk income. Talk about passive income, right? <laughs> so she was literally making money without mm. coming to the office. Right. So, you know, sometimes I have to remind myself like, yo, you good. You legit, man. Right. You've been helping people make money for a very right. long time. Like right. you can call at least 20, 30 people and be like, yo, have I helped you make money in the past? Right. right. And, you know, they'll, they'll say, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it, I wouldn't say it was validation. It was more like reaffirmation right. that hey, you're on the right path, mm-hmm. you know your stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, not only do you know your stuff, you know mm-hmm. how to get results. So I have a deeper question, you mm-hmm. know. So we were able to help a client have a five-figure launch, mm-hmm. and we are also able to assist her in a six-figure um, income, mm-hmm. revenue, in less than, like, 60 days, mm-hmm. right? Now... Hey, thanks for watching the video. But if you're watching this and you're enjoying it and you're saying, how can I get access to that same strategy to apply it in my business? Maybe you want to two, five, 10 X your income in half the time without burning out. Click the link below and you'll get access to the same strategy. It's called 20,000 in two hours viral strategy. Click the link below and you'll get access to it. Peace. How does it feel that you were able to help her do that? however not yet do it for yourself okay so i've never done a six-figure launch right in 45 days correct but i think i've done six figures of course um never did a five-figure launch but i've done five figures correct yeah so in that short period of time and the reason that i'm asking is because you know a lot of time you know you're in the business and as an entrepreneur mm-hmm you sometimes don't put that same energy that you would put on somebody else on yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, you got the source yeah, because they're getting results from the source that you're giving them. Right. But then when it's time for you to redo that source for yourself, Mm -hmm. you're like, what is going on? So it's not necessarily to talk about, Oh, the money, Mm -hmm. But it's more to talk about the mindset that you have off of the strength that I was able to help the client do that. And I know I need to do it for myself, Mm -hmm. but how do you, you know, handle those mindsets of when you're still working towards that? Okay. Um, One of the mindsets that I basically stuck with was it's not about you. It's about the other person. Mm-hmm. Right. It's not about choose about the other person. It's not about choose about the other person. Right. And it brought me back to when I was a personal trainer and I would help people lose weight. I've never lost 100 pounds. Right. I've never lost 60 pounds, mm-hmm. but I've lost a pound. So the fact that I lost a pound, it means I could show somebody how to lose multiple pounds. Right. So it was the same mindset I had. Hey, the fact that you've made yourself one dollar. Mm-hmm. You could show somebody how to make multiple dollars. Mm. So I had my foundation and my belief, even though I never made, um, 
you know, six figures in, in like 45, 60 days. I never did that. Mm -hmm. But I've made a dollar. Mm -hmm. I've made, you know, $1,000 an hour, mm -hmm. right? I've made $5,000 in a week. Right. So I've had big launches. So I wasn't building my belief based off of, man, I've never done that, so I can't do it. My belief was off of, hey, can you help this person make $1? Mm -hmm. And if I could, then let me show her how to make multiple dollars by doing it over and over and over again. Okay. So I hope that answers your question. It did. What advice would you give to someone who's right now in the grit and grind of building their business, entrepreneurship, side hustle? What advice would you give them by letting them know that, you know, whatever their expertise is in, although they don't see the financial success in it yet, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them to understand that, hey, just keep going? You know, like it's it's I know you don't see it, but your your clients or the people that you're working with mm -hmm. are getting results from mm -hmm. it. So don't be discouraged. I would say to that person who's in a position where you're doing something and you don't see the financial result yet, I would say that the skill set you have and the amount of money you make, they are not connected, mm. right? They're completely two separate things, right? You could be the best of the best of the best when it comes to um, personal training or when it comes to doing here or when it comes to massages or when it comes to teaching. You could be the best of the best at that. However, when it comes to getting your offer out to the masses and presenting it in a way where it's appealing and people can see it as something that's transformative, something that gives them result, and something that's also appealing mm -hmm. to where they want to buy it and they want to they want to give you money for it. Right. That's another skill that you have to master. Right. So, and sometimes we tie up the skill that we have or the skill level that we have or that we've mastered with the amount of income that we're getting back on return. Mm -hmm. And they're two separate things, right. right? So you could be a master at one thing and the money you make doesn't reflect that. Mm -hmm. So I would say separate both of them. And then I would say the same way you master that skill, you also need to go master how to get your message to the masses. Right. You need to go master how to get your product in front of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You need to go master how to make offers. You need to go master how to deal with the word no. You know, you need to, you need to master your emotions, master right. your feelings. Right. So but the first thing I would say is, your skill set mm -hmm. is not tied to the amount of money that you make. They're two separate things because there's people with different types of skills mm -hmm. making way much more money. I'm not even going to say no skills. I know what you want to say. Because there's some people who <laughs> I go on social media and I remember there was this girl. She was making, she was making, she made like 100, 200 grand mm -hmm. for just selling fart in a jar. Man, listen. Right? She was selling fart in a jar. Like, I mean... <laughs> It, I guess it takes skills to put that much fart in a jar, ah. and it takes skills to package that and put that out. But she made like two hundred. I mean, she ended up going to the hospital. Did she know for how gas. to deliver her message to the masses. To the masses, right? She knew her target audience. She right. knew that she knew the guys like fart. She knew what niche she was right. in. Right? She knew what niche. She was in a little fetish niche, and she put it out. So, right. wait, congratulations to her. Facts. Right? Con Facts. But that's marketing. Mm -hmm. So. The skill set you have, I'm not going to take anything from her skill right. because that's a skill she figured out. Right. And she also figured out how to sell it too. Correct. So, you know, you could take a play from her book. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to ask you something. Like, so let's go back to, so basically this conversation, we're talking about breakthrough, right? right. And one of the most recent breakthrough we've had is um, helping, helping our client get to a next level. Right. And by getting her to that next level, we also got to that next level. Mm-hmm. If you were to take somebody through a step-by-step -step process mm -hmm. where they can take their product mm -hmm. and they can launch and get it out to where they have a financial breakthrough, mm -hmm. what are some of the steps that you would say that person needs to take? I would say they would definitely need to know who they're selling to. You know, um, as we were going through the process of helping our client, you know, there was a few things that we had to adjust. And the reason that we had to adjust it is because, you know, the demographic of that client price point had to change because it was a high ticket item. But that demographic that she was speaking to was not at that price point. And so it's very important that you know who you're talking to, understand who they are, understand the demographics, understand the psychology, the psychology mindset of your, what would they would say, your avatar or your target audience. 
Because once you master that, it is easy for you to go anywhere and just say, well, this is not for you. This is for them. Mm -hmm. And when you know who it's for, you know how to sell it because it's yours. Yeah. You know how to talk about it. You know how to present it. So it would be the number one thing is understand who you're talking to, your avatar, your target audience. Okay. Number two, I would say, you know, make sure that you just don't have a product that's just a product. What's the point of the product? What problem does that product solve? Because a lot of people who are buying wants a solution. Right. If I go to Chanel to buy a bag, I want a high quality bag. That's why I went to Chanel. You feel what I'm saying? Or Hermes or whatever, <laughs> you know? Um, so I want that high quality bag. So what's the reason for them to buy from you? Aside from the fact that the product is a great product. Because the product, there's plenty of products that's great. But the next thing now is, do you know how to market, present, and sell that product? And one of the things that we had to learn was, you know, especially coming from network marketing and having our own brick and mortar business, marketing, branding, and sales is like everything that you need <laughs> <laughs> to be able to generate income ongoing forever. And so that's number three. And number three is understand the marketing, the branding, and the sales aspect. And number four is strategy. You need to have a strategy. And like it's easy for you to just make a sale. But do you have a monetized strategy? Because sell and monetization are two different things. Mm -hmm. Monetizations means that you have a strategy behind what you're selling how you're going to sell it to the amount of people that you plan on selling it to, to the emails attached, to the SMS attached, to just the campaign around that whole process of whatever the product or service that you're selling. So monetization is monetization strategy is the last thing. So first is target audience. Um, the second thing is understanding the product and who you, um, what the product is and who you're selling it to. The third thing is making sure that you understand what marketing sales and branding is. The fourth thing is monetization strategy, not getting a sale. <laughs> okay. Cause you, you're going to get the sale, but what's the strategy after you get that sale for you to keep getting sales. So monetization strategy. If you had to pick between a physical product or a digital product, mm -hmm or providing a service, mm -hmm. which one would you pick? So it's providing a service, mm -hmm. selling a digital product, mm -hmm. or a physical product, mm -hmm. which one would you pick and why? Man, let's not pick all three. Because <laughs> I like stush money. But, okay, um, I like physical products. I like the tangibility of somebody receiving something, they loving it, and then I got paid for it, mm -hmm. okay? I also like a digital product. The margin on digital products is really high. Mm -hmm. You're able to sell the digital product and don't have to really worry about return as long as your refund policy is on point. Mm -hmm. And services requires your time. And I'm okay with services if it's a passion of yours and it doesn't bother you to do it. However, there's still a ceiling to services and I don't like ceilings. So if what I- What do you mean ceiling? There's a ceiling because there's only 24 hours in a day. Time ceiling. Okay. Time ceiling. So how many of those services can you provide within 24 hours? And are you able to hit your income goal with that? And sometimes, for the most part, you want to make more money, but that means you have to provide more services, which means you would have to have a team around you to make sure that you hit whatever goals that you have. So our door is downstairs, so it's time for us to wrap this up, right?